All right, as part of the impact series, what we want to do is cover the next generation SX rack. Now listen, with this new change, we're not changing anything the customers loved about the rack. The adjustability and all the features and functions built into this that allow it to manage the equipment on the inside quickly. That is not what we're changing, but we are doing some improvements to things, especially when it comes to the doors, because there were some elements of the doors that we wanted to have an opportunity to improve. So first of all, as you can see, the branding's a lot different. We got this new look and feel with the triangles that kind of matches our single phase UPSs and how we're doing that, so that advanced look here. We've also changed the nameplate into this green band, which is movable. If we flip the door, we can easily change that around in that. But the look and feel kind of gives it a, a little higher quality, even at the handle. The handle's a much higher quality handle, allows us to, to work with the latch and, and have it um, be a, a just a lot more uh, um, robust and, and have a better feel to it, okay? Now, on, if you notice here, the holes on the, on the next gen are quite a bit bigger than the holes on the previous version. And what that gives us is 80% airflow versus 69 in the original version. This is gonna be great for artificial intelligence and high dense applications. So when we need more airflow into that rack, that's gonna allow us to do so. Now, one of the other things we've, we've got on these is in the, in the previous rack, the doors would only open about 130 degrees. That would cause some issues with guys that are trying to bring carts down the row to bring in new gear and things. A lot of times they'd have to take the doors off to do that, or they just kind of got in the way. And so what we did was we changed the hinge on the, on the new version. So now it will open not only 90 degrees, not only that 130 you just saw, but all the way out to 180, and if we're on the end of the row, all the way to 270. What that does is that gives us the opportunity to open this door wide open, so now we have full access to the inside, entire inside of the cabin. And with this hinge, we've also added the capability of flipping the door, taking the doors off and putting them on a lot easier. Because what we've got is we've got this new exterior facing hinge with these tabs that look almost like golf tees where we pull them out on each of the hinges like this and now this door is ready to disengage so if I open it up here and turn it to 90 degrees I can take the door and put it on and now it's off the off the hinge and set up really easily so it's simple for me to take this door and now if I want to put it back on I just go to that 90 degrees I set one hinge at the top I go ahead and find the hinge at the bottom really simply push the golf tees back in, and now that door is set up and swinging. So it's just a lot easier to replace the door. Now with the opening that we have on the door with the leveling feet, because in the previous version, it was very difficult for us to open the door and get to this particular leveling foot right here under the hinge. In fact, both feet on the back side because there were hinges on both doors. Because we can open this door so wide now, even to the 90 degree phase here, we've got full access to that, that, that um, uh, foot that we're, that we're working with. So the leveling feet give us, uh, it just gives us clear access to the leveling feet. And speaking of leveling feet, what we've done is we've added weight capability to this. We can take these up to 4,000 pounds static load now because the leveling feet are improved on this. The, again, because these guys are filling up racks, making them much higher density, going into AI where there's going to be lots and lots of weight in these racks, that's a really important feature. The final feature that's new on this rack is we've got this three-point locking system. So the latch is pretty much the way that it was before and you can see now we've got these other acceptors here that give us the capability of adding a three-point latching system here so you can kind of see where that tab pulls up into that door, it's gonna drive up into these acceptors. So now when we close the door, we've got three-point locking system here where it's locked here, here, and here. Now this three-point locking system gives us much better security within the cabinet, but it also prevents us from having uh, data center operators who now have much heavier racks with more equipment in them, grabbing it here on the door and accidentally springing the door here on the, on the side where the latch is. 
All of these features are built in, designed with voice of customer research that told us the things that they really wanted to see improved. But again, we haven't changed anything on the inside that are the features that the customers love. With, uh, with use spaces that are marked on both sides, the easy to move and keep parallel posts, and, and the roofs that adapt to any kind of situation that we need to have for uh, cabling across the top. This is the new generation, next generation SX racks uh, this one happens to be the AR3100W2, which is, which is the brand new series on this. And uh, it's just got a lot of really neat features in it. It's a great rack.